In the 19th century, when Italy unified, they adopted a green, white and red tricolour defaced with the cross of Savoy as their national flag. I'll explain the cross in a little bit, but for now you'll see it is surrounded by a blue border. Savoy, which led the unification movement, first used blue during the Savoyard Crusade of 1366. This crusade was called in honour of the Virgin Mary, who was often displayed wearing blue, and as such, the crusaders from Savoy were awarded a blue flag. From there, it was used in uniforms and sashes until it eventually found its way on the national flag and became the royal house colour. So, in the early days of organised sports, Italy adopted blue for their strips. But the whole cross was eventually dropped from the flag when Italy became a republic after World War II. But onto the tricolour. Savoy adopted the tricolour as its national flag after the revolutions of 1848, which largely called for the unification of Italy. Although they weren't the only ones, for instance Tuscany, Naples and Sicily did the same, but they reverted back to their old flags once their revolutions failed. The revolutionaries, notably in Milan, picked the colours which harkened back to the old Napoleonic Kingdom of Italy, which had temporarily united a great deal of Italy. But from this painting in 1845, a few years before the revolution, you can see the colours flying in Austrian-controlled Venice, so they obviously remained somewhat important throughout the decades in between. The Kingdom of Italy emerged from uniting various states, notably the French puppet state, the Cisalpine Republic, which in turn emerged from the Cispadane Republic. And it was the Cispadane Republic that first adopted the colours in 1797, displayed horizontally, then the Cisalpine Republic changed it to vertical stripes. However, before getting onto the theories behind the colours, I think there are a couple things that need to be established. So, over the centuries, Italy's had hundreds of states and even more flags, and getting into all of them would take a wee bit too long. But there are some important themes and symbols that have continued over the centuries. First of all, a city or state is often represented by two colours. Some of these colour choices are quite well understood. For instance, the yellow and red of the flags in southern Italy, like Naples, Messina and Sicily, originate from a time when the Spanish had influence in the region. Rome also uses a similar flag, but this harkens back to the colours of the Roman Empire. In the northwest, many states and cities are represented by the Cross of St George, red on white, or its reverse. The Cross of St George was first adopted by the Genoese during the Crusades and spread throughout Europe from there. Genoa, Bologna and Milan all share the same flag, and have remarkably similar flags to Sardinia, Savoy, Mantua, Asti, etc. So, these cities would often use red and white in one form or another. However, despite several theories, the choice of some colour patterns are surrounded in mystery. For instance, the black and white of Siena and Ferrara, or the red and white of Florence and its neighbours, Pisa and Lucca. Plus, in the northwest, blue and yellow was used in the flags of Venice, Parma, Verona and the likes. However, no one definitely knows why. So there's always the possibility that they were chosen merely to differentiate from one another, and this might be important when explaining the trickler. These crosses and colours have largely remained in use for centuries, despite conquest revolutions and the introductions of new flags. For instance, Naples changed hands and flags numerous times, but the red and yellow remained throughout. Plus, there are other important symbols for each city and region. Florence used the red fleur-de-lis, which may have originated from the exiles in France during the war between the Guelphs and the Ghibellines in the 13th century. Venice's most famous symbol is the winged lion, which represents St. Mark. This comes from ancient times when the four evangelists were represented by the animals which pull the chariot of God in the Bible. So Mark was the winged lion, Matthew was the angel, Luke was the bull, and John was the eagle. And finally, Milan is known for the Biscione, a great serpent devouring a Saracen, which was the symbol of the Visconti family. And on the subject, Saracens and Moors feature on a couple Italian flags, notably Sardinia and Corsica, but the origins of this are long and disputed. But once again, these symbols would often be used alongside the crosses and the bicoloured flags. The other thing I should explain is in the 18th century, people often showed their allegiances by wearing cockades in the place of uniforms. Whereas in the early days, cockades tended to be one or two colours, for instance the Jacobite white or the American Revolutionary white and black, the French revolutionaries adopted the red, white and blue, making the tricolour cockade the sign of republicanism. So, when the French Republic invaded a nation, their supporters would, more often than not, wear a trickler cockade of one design or another. Whereas some of these colours have quite credible theories behind them, others do not. For instance, in Switzerland, the Helvetic Republic used green, red and yellow. Apparently, green represented liberty, yellow the colour of Uri, and red the colour of Swiss. Green was in fact nearly used by the French revolutionaries on their cockades, because of its connections with liberty. So, green representing liberty was a pretty commonly held belief at the time. But this could well be an explanation created afterwards, as most of the New Republic shared at least two colours with the French and one unique colour to distinguish it. However, saying that, there was some overlap. For instance, in Germany, the Kisrainian Republic also used green, white and red. But on to Italy. There was the short-lived Republic of Alba in the north. They used red, blue and an orangey yellow. Now, I'm just speculating here, but the orangey yellow may have come from the flag of Turin, 
the capital city of Savoy, or sometimes, very rarely, the colour was used as a border to the flag of Savoy. In central Italy, the Ancona Republic used a very similar red, yellow and blue. This could have come from merging the flag of Ancona, which used a Greek cross to show its old connections with Greece, with that of France. However, this republic was eventually absorbed into the Roman Republic, which used red, white and black, or, depending on the source, red, white and grey. However, given Rome has had a long history of using red and yellow, the colours of the old empire, the only thing I can find linking the city to black is it was the colour of the she-wolf which raised Romulus and Remus, but that seems like a bit of a stretch. Plus, in southern Italy, the Parthenopian Republic also used blue, yellow and red, but this could come from merging the colours of Naples and France. However, when Napoleon reconquered Naples, the new flag was changed to red, black and white. This may have symbolised a connection with the former Roman Republic and showed signs of unifying, but once again, nobody really knows why. So finally, onto the green, white and red of the Kispadane Republic. Keep in mind that many of the new Republic used two French colours with one of their own, sometimes with no real explanation. This colour scheme could just be a way to differentiate themselves from the French. So because these colours were chosen pretty quickly after the French invaded, very little thought may have went into choosing their colours. And had an alternative history taken course, I could well be analysing the trickle of the Anconian or Alba Republic. But given that the Kispadani Republic eventually spread out and formed the Kingdom of Italy, and its red, white and green were used on the new flag, there are numerous and conflicting theories behind the choice of colours. One of the most often cited says that white and red represents the flag of Milan, and the green came from the Civic Guard's uniforms. In October 1796, Napoleon created the Lombard Legion, and in his own words to the executive directory, the national colours they have adopted are green, white and red. So the troops who fought for Napoleon, the Lombard Legion, were presented with these colours on a flag, and their uniforms displayed them. However, there is some evidence to suggest that the colours were not used to represent the flag of Milan, but rather that of Bologna and Asti. In 1794, a couple years before Napoleon ever entered Italy, Two revolutionaries, Zamboni and Di Rolandis, who were from Bologna and Asti, led a revolution against the Papal States. They united the red and white of Bologna with the colour of hope, green, and produced cockades for their supporters. However, what remains disputed is whether or not their revolutionary colours spread to Milan, or did the people of Milan decide on their colour scheme separately? In my opinion, and I could be wrong, but it seems that the people of Milan just chose green, white and red. The reason for this is that within the Papal States, two different state flags had been used with two different colour schemes, that in Rome and Ancona. So it seems unlikely that the green, white and red have become important in Milan, a different state, but not within the Papal States itself. So in short, the true origins of the Italian flag have been lost in the turbulent years of the French Revolutionary Wars. But really, the history of the trickle pales in comparison to the city and regional flags of Italy, which in my eyes are some of the greatest in the world. Although I've mentioned a lot of them already, I'll end this video by bringing your attention to a few more. There's the Pisan Cross, which the Pope granted to the city in the early 11th century when they fought the Saracens. There's the balls of the Medici in Florence, which may represent Byzantine or pawnbrokers' coins, or pharmaceutical pills alluding to their origins in medicine. And finally, the strange flag of Sicily, which has the head of Medusa in front of three legs.